Hi everybody, Deb Sulfur Viper here. Come on, come on in, sit down, get relaxed, all that jazz. You know, and score another hardware review for you today. Yeah, and one I've been promising since at least last December. Um, and yeah, I'm talking about this. The iJoy Diamond PD270 kit. Uh, 234 watt mod. Um, with the Captain X3S tank on top. And that wants a filling, but I'll have a two on it. Nice feeling, little mod in your hand. Uh, 18650s and 2700 batteries, of course. And you get an adapter with it. I'll tell you what, let's give it a fill. It says Captain at the front, and then at the back of that, it says Push, and we'll do that. And I've got some of this in, I've got some of the 88 bit uh, lemon meringue pie in this. Now, coils on this when you, you need a couple of tanks through before you start getting the flavour, that's the only thing I find with these. Um, these coils for this captain tank but let's get that in there we go some more juice in there the fit and finishing of this mod is absolutely fantastic it really is so before I go on and I carry on going on uh, we'll head on down to that table cam so I'll see you down there see you in a minute Hi right, guys, so we're down on the table cam and we'll cut the iJoy Diamond PD270 kit that I've had in for a while and a uh, picture of it on the front, diamond there, and like this uh, sort of patterning on there. Uh, there's catching sniff, colour denoted there, this is a mirror blue one. Uh, some information on the back, what's in the kit. Don't vape in the bin, don't vape pregnant, 18 plus, all that lot, and some warnings on the side. Now this is just a sleeve, so let's get rid of that and see what we get in the kit. Move that sleeve over there. So let's just take it out of the box. I'll open the box. And there we have it, uh, the iJoy diamond itself and the uh, the Captain, this is the Captain X3S, X3S tank, it uses the same coils as the uh, as the Katana does as well this. So uh, let's get the tank out first of all and move it over one side, get the mod out, move that to one side and we'll have a look at uh, what's in the box. So let's move that, undo that, and yes, this kit come with uh, two batteries. Now I believe you can get the kit without. So I've got uh, and the Adley five point ones in there. By the way, the iJo batteries. We've got the spare coil, and this is a coil that's going to be going in there because uh, the one that's in there has been used up. And this is the point three, sixty two hundred watt. And we'll be keeping that out. We have the spares. Um, grommet, spare grommet for the fill tool. We got a bait band, some mouldings, 510 adapter, and an Allen key. And you can't see what that is in the in the centre there. It's a some sort of pin. I don't know what that that pins to. A couple of pins there, screw pins. Must be to the mod somewhere. Um, USB charge cable as normal. And we have. In the box, let's get the box room done. Let's get it out if I can. Get rid of the dog hairs. The dog hairs get everywhere. We got the warranty card put in the box, and we have the uh, manual. So there we go. Plenty of there. Plenty of information for you in a few languages. Let's chuck all that back in the box, except for them and that. Let's get rid of them. Chuck them in the box. I'm in the box, put the box lid on and bugger it off somewhere else. There we go, out of the way. And of course these sort of coils will fit, these are the uh, katana coils and they fit as well so that's good. So let's have a look at the ta tank. So uh, top fill and uh, it says Captain there and as you can see, I don't know if you can see up there, it says push. So you push to open, easy enough. Oh. 810 and you've got a 510 adapter and you can see the other there as well but bare fed and there you go and it's not stopped this it'll just go down so what you do on one side it does on the other let's undo it this is an easy one to undo and there we have the coil and we're going to set this coil out anyway so we might as well set that there just set that out as you can see this coil's been well used look at it, it's manky this one was ready for 
the user and they all, these remind me a bit of the uh, the UL Valerian coils they really do so let's put that one side let's get the base let's get this open eh if I can I'll tell you what let's just cut it get that coil out and it's easy fit it into it it's a screw in it's just a sub ohm tank screw that in and we'll just put the top on for now I'll get some juice out in a bit for this when I'm ready to use it and that's it for that tank as you can see on the base uh, oops get it right way down designed by iJoy Captain CE Mark probably could have been X3 which is X3S in take these tanks so uh, yeah let's put that there and go on to the rod so here we have the the diamond itself quite a, a nice looking mod and it does feel nice in the hand um, let's just show you there it does say and I don't know if you'll be able to see that it does say open there so pull that open and inside we have the uh, 18650 battery adapter unfortunately I used it once and that's what happened to mine you know so uh, I don't really use that condom type one let's pop that back on there for a minute and as you can see it snaps in really well the magnets are really strong uh, but unfortunately mine's got that little bit of rattle it really has and it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet of course so uh, should we put these batteries in while we're here and have a look round it while I'm messing about so let's get these batteries in right negative positive positive negative no um, ribbing cable in the way there and they're, they're fairly easy to get out even with it dexterity problem so let's just bang, bang that one in get the other one out of the box and as you can see these are decent these are the decent ones so uh they look manky don't they they've never been out of the box they look manky so it's positive for that one together and when you turn it round the screen's on already so let's turn it off That looks off that as you can see and you can probably hear mine's got a lot of movement on that back so let's go into it one two three four five this button is really stiff on mine uh we've got it at 40 watts there there's your wattage your battery indicator uh you mold you in and this always no matter when whenever you do it whenever you change batteries it always goes to hard mode rather than normal then you've got your voltage you've got your puff counter and the seconds that you vape right let's try again let's go over into the menu three clicks one two three there we go so you've got power you got um you got tcr you got set there you got reset people so power you click that and we, we have got uh, normal user soft and hard go on normal click that one two three you've got temp control there so you've got nickel titanium stainless steel memory one memory two and exit with map one two three and we go in again and we got the tcr so we can change the tcrs on that um yeah it's, it's pretty easy to get around and of course we do that again and we've got the reset puff counter which i'm not going to do um so that's that and uh, we'll get the rest of it sorted out easy menu to get around uh, we'll have a quick look at uh, temp control in a minute but uh, for now I'm just going to fill the tank up and come back see you in a sec right guys we're back and I've got to uh, fill the tank with some lemon meringue pie uh, from H8 Vape in there so as I said we're going to have a quick look down this is at 65 watts of course on normal wattage so one two three I'm going to see TC come on there we go and we'll uh, we'll take it to stainless steel right now if you want to change your wattage in this you just press the uh, up arrow and then you can adjust up and down on that as you want so uh, let's leave it there and to change the the temperature you just press the left one and then while it's flashing you can move up and down whichever way you want from that which I thought was quite a good feature so uh, one two three let's go back into wattage mode and we'll have it on normal take it 65 watts come on 
There we go. Right, I just jumped back in to my own video. Uh, I forgot to show you the scrolling inside of the of the watches. So we'll get down first of all. It's fairly fairly fast, and it goes all the way down to five watts. Why it's flashing? I go all the way up to two hundred thirty-four. When you do it individually, it goes down in one tenth of a watt. So there you go. Flies. It's fairly fast, isn't it? It starts off slow and then kicks in. Let's get it back up to around about sixty-five. And there we go. Just Tired it, there we go, and it's locked in. Oh, I what I forgot to do in the uh, that's the idiot of me doing it on purpose. And what I forgot to do on the temp control was show you it can lock the resistance in as well. So let's just go and do that while we're here. Oops. one, two, three, come on. I can never do it on this. There we go, let's go into temp control, let's put it in stainless steel, that's okay. And uh, as I said before, you can move that up and down there, lock that in, that up and down, locked in, locked in, locked in, and you can lock the resistance, you hold it, it will lock the resistance in, under temp control, there you go guys, and unlock, and that's it, I've jumped into my own video, so I'm going to jump back out, see you in a minute, and uh, it's all simple to get down, it's easy, the only thing that fails for it on my, on my particular one is that battery door which is also um, beginning to mark I don't know if you can see that on top of there guys starting to scratch with the atties um, normal wear and tear of course but the attie on this does not stand I don't think you can see it from there properly does not fit flush right the way down it really doesn't um, the kit itself overall is very good the fire button is very very stiff, it's a bit too stiff to tell you the truth when you're firing it. I'm just going to have a two on this. The uh, the coil in this, the 0 0.3, isn't, I know it's a new coil, isn't really giving me a good flavour at the moment. But I've only had a few puffs on it as you can see, so only showing seven puffs and I haven't even set the puff three counter. So I don't know why that's happened, um, but yeah, it, it's all right. It's all right. At price wise, if you if you look at because it's been out a while, and you look at somewhere like Washington Vapes, you'll get you can get this at twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, they have it on sale on the odd occasion. Anyway, guys, let's uh, let's pop up back up top because there's not a lot to this mod. It's a nice mod. It feels nice in the hand. Uh, fire button's a bit too stiff for me. But uh, that's about it. Easy enough to see that screen and everything on it. You know, guys, so uh, uh, let's head on back up. See how we get on. Hi, guys. So we're up from the table cam. Um, not a bad little mod. There is that faulty little bits on mine, like the uh, the back door rattling. Um, the tank doesn't sit. It has a platform on top. So it doesn't sit flush until you see, like, underneath it. But if you put anything else on it, um, a dripper, um, that will go beyond that little bit he starts marking up the top of the of the mod it really does that's where the marks will come from on the door and what I do like about this is the the eye joy at the front which you can't see on that is not too bright through that black screen and also it's in the black and not the yellow like you see on some of the others which looks so awful it's in white on this much better love the color of, of it of course it's absolutely fantastic and as I said um, I picked this up from Washington Vapes last November for twenty nine ninety nine, and I seen it this week on sale again in Washington Vapes uh, for twenty nine ninety nine. It's normally around about sixty quid mark. This mod, well worth picking up. It's it's got some weight to it. It really has. Uh, the screen is is so it's big and it's easy to see. And it's black and white, and you can see everything on there. Really nice. Um, the vape from the tank isn't too bad to tell you the truth, but it does take a couple of tanks full of. Uh, juice through there just to start getting the flavour as it should be so I'm gonna have another two anyway get 
getting the batteries in and out is very easy even for me with dexterity problems even though there's no ribbing cable in there to help yank them out uh, the transport at the front is, is fine but never charge never charge them internally unless you really have to you know always take them out and use a external charger um, the mod it, it itself it does feel feel really nice unfortunately mine has got that as you can hear which is annoying the other thing with it is the button on mine uh, you can't fire the, these pressing the bottom of the button it won't fire it's got to be sensor or up near the top for it to fire uh, and the button's really stiff on mine so it takes a lot of force to, to actually push that button in and of course it's a fingerprint magnet but it's a really gorgeous mod and it does really feel nice in the end but like all mods they, they have the, the good points and have the bad points don't they and uh, this one I'm really pleased I bought especially at that price because it comes with two uh, two batteries in there as well you know I can't complain at that can I you know how much are them batteries on their own seven eight quid you know I paid 29.99 for the, the whole kit including batteries fantastic deal all in all very good kit tank don't leave with the do don't leave with the airflow open overnight it will do a tf 8 on you it does tend to lose that vacuum in there and, and sort of piss out all over the mod um but other than that i've had no problem the, the tank itself is all right the coils are all right i'm going to try one of the uh, katana ta uh, katana coils in there um when this one's gone it wicks really well you, you know i've got I can't really call the coils, they do the job, but they just take a long time out getting the flavour through. So guys, that's it for the review. Really nice kit, it really is. It really feels nice. Uh, and I'm pretty pleased with it, and I'm really pleased with it for the price I got it, as, uh, as you probably can tell. So that's it guys, that's the end of the review. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming over and subscribing. Very much appreciated. If you're not subscribed, why not hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you know when I've uploaded. And to my existing subscribers, thank you very much for staying with me. It is very much appreciated. It really is. And guys, you know, if if you see this video, share it. You know, share. If, if you're on Facebook, I might have you shared it. You know, do it. Share it out. Let's get me out there a bit more. You know, subscribe, share, thumbs up, all that stuff. Plenty of thumbs up. Don't forget them thumbs up, guys. Really appreciate them. And that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.